YouTubers, uh, check this out. This here is purportedly the ambulance that transported Dr. Kent Brantley to Emory University Hospital in Atlanta. Um, and I wanted to point out a couple things here. Uh, first of all, we have no lights or sirens or anything along those lines um, that you can see on the ambulance. Uh, you'd figure they're transporting somebody with Ebola on our highways and there's no emergency lights on this ambulance um, and another thing I want to point out in this uh, video is that there's also no police escorts I find that uh, pretty bizarre uh, this thing should be under lockdown if even should be allowed on our roads period you know probably more like a um, a medical flight or hell even a military escort at this point this is serious stuff I don't believe that they should have transported this patient to America um, especially under these conditions this is a uh, pretty weak security here and uh, hopefully nothing happens uh, with this patient being transported here all right so I'm gonna go ahead and play this video and I want everybody to see that there are are no police escorts and there's also no ambulance or uh, emergency lights on this ambulance. Condition. We don't know if that's a, a result of the drug, uh, the prayers of God's people, uh, or where they are in the cycle of this uh, uh, Ebola virus. It's uh, very unpredictable uh, in terms of one day up, one day down, but uh, I'll tell you, our thumbs go up that uh, they're doing well today and the last few days. Alright, so just to keep this video short, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the point where um, the patient, Dr. Kent Brantley, is being escorted out of the ambulance and also under really no security. This is quite bizarre and I really have no words for this. Uh, go ahead and let's check this out. Alright, so there you have it. Somebody that's had Ebola for the past few days and uh, they're able to get up and walk out of an ambulance. Uh, remind you that Ebola does have about a 90% kill rate. Um, and this person's able to just get up and walk out of the ambulance with no police escort, with no military escort. Um, very limited security, if any at all. No lights or sirens. Folks, I'm going to have to say that this one here is staged. Um, I mean, anybody that's a terrorist or want to cause panic or harm to anybody would have uh, just loved to have their hands on this patient, and it would have been very easy to do so, as you can see for yourselves. All right, I just wanted to put that information out there for everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, go ahead and
and share this video. Uh, very interesting. Share your thoughts as well. Thank you very much. Aloha.